Welcome back to my show, everybody. In today's episode, we are making a succulent, a savory, a healthy, sort of creamy holiday classic, broccoli and cheese casserole. Let's get into this video. We're going to start off by taking some freshly washed uh, broccoli spears, and we're going to go ahead and break them down and start slicing off the uh, bottom of the what's actually going to eat. And we're going to really break up our florets. We're going to be careful to save the stem, and we're going to actually utilize a lot of the stem because there's so much more broccoli than just florets. You know, make sure your knife is nice and sharp. Careful, watch your fingers, and you get in there and do what you gotta do. You see here, I'm using my new uh, Tasty brand of knives. They're decent. I, I definitely like them. They're they're good. Uh, you know, starter knives. Get in there and slice it up, dice it up, whatever. Call it a day. They're definitely not gonna be my forever knives. I'm a huge fan of the Tasty brand, however. Don't get me wrong. It up real good. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We've missed you. Join the gang. Stay around. Have fun. Pick up your shoes. Fill out your feet. Out the can. Open a bottle. Get in the kitchen. You gotta eat. <laughs> no, seriously though. Uh, feel free to hit that subscription button, smash the like button, and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you won't miss a single video. We'll show you what we do in the kitchen. Slice it up good and proud of Don't worry, I'm not gonna take a long time with all this broccoli because I showed you how to do one, and now you'll see in time lapse how to do the rest. And there we have our broccoli, chopped up and ready to go. Into some salted water, we're going to pour our broccoli. And we're only going to cook it for about three minutes, maybe four or five minutes tops. You want to have a nice, beautiful crunch on our broccoli. You don't want to have our broccoli just mushy and ready to you know, move on to your next stage. Broccoli does not take long to cook at all. It's one of those vegetables where kids are like, ew, broccoli. It's because back in the day, we boiled everything. We boiled it to death. Now, we've got a little wiser. We know that vegetables need to have a nice crunch. Nice texture. No natural flavors and juices. <laughs> Besides, olive oil and garlic can go a long way. Alrighty, now we're moving on to our next steps. Now that our water is nice and turned off and our broccoli is ready to be transported into an ice bath. Future reference, don't put your ice water in a glass bowl, on a stove, next to a pan that was very, very hot because your ice is going to melt very quickly. <laughs> Fortunately, your water is still very cold and we're basically shocking our broccoli at this point in time. We're going to stop the cooking temperature. I'm sorry, the cooking process. And here we are, ready for our next steps, our blanched broccoli. We're going to add a can of cream of chicken soup and all the exact measurements will be in the description box below. Hey, kitty, get down. Back up. Open a can in this house, he thinks everything's for him. Not for you. <laughs> I love my cat. If you ever see him in the video, feel free to leave a cat emoji. We're gonna add in some deep mayonnaise. One glob. Two glass. And we're gonna add in our better than bouillon's roasted garlic base. Garlic really elevates this dish. It's really like a secret weapon of mine for this particular dish. Not for nothing, my broccoli casserole has nothing on my Aunt Avis' casserole. If you are a fan of the show for a while, you know I'm talking about my, my auntie a lot. I love her very, very much. And I know what she's doing in the kitchen. Auntie Avis, for you. 
give this a good stir. Be cautious with it when we get a really nice even coverage because it could get a little messy. But you know, get our slices, our slices, and I mix it, and I fix it. <laughs> nice even coverage. Now we're going to add in our seasonings with some crushed red pepper flakes. You got to have a little bit of heat, just a little bit. You got to have just a little bit. <laughs> And don't be afraid, you know, I've said it before, you, you add the seasonings, like this cracked black pepper, you season till the spirit tells you enough. Enough, my child. Just like that. <laughs> I'm a mess, don't judge me. This is definitely a recipe you're going to want to check out. Yeah, it's, it's such a great, great uh, dish, and you know I had to add a little adobo, because there's just something about adobo, it really elevates this dish. You don't add a lot, because it has this, uh, a saltiness to it, it does have a nice uh, salty bite, so you want to make sure that you monitor that level, because with broccoli, it is a vegetable that you're going to want to uh, season as you go along. Sharp cheddar cheese! And you can, because there's nothing... Uh, unedible in this, uh, or unsafe to eat rather, um, yet you can test for salt and seasoning as you go until you add uh, the egg. Get that in Love cheese. So we've added our sharp cheddar, now we're adding our mild cheddar. I think if I make this again, or when I make this again, I'm going to add in cubes of velvet. If there's something about that cheese that just makes everything delightful. Colby Jack! I almost figured out the Colby Jack cheese. Rude! <laughs> I know, it seems like a lot of cheese, but it is a casserole, and it's a broccoli and cheese casserole, so, you know, all the cheese. I just showed them Colby Jack. Why? You need to see it again. It's coming in the comments. They don't know. It's not right there. Get it together, Kevin. <laughs> Alrighty, now you're going to carefully place everything into your baking dish. I chose an aluminum pan because this casserole was not for me. It was for one of my best friends, uh, Friendsgivings, slash uh, a birthday party. And they don't ever ask for much, so when your friends do ask for something, you got to come through and you got to come through swinging. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you get all of that goodness in there. Now this is the juncture where I would taste for uh, seasoning because we're about to add some things that would not be safe to eat if they weren't cooked. Go ahead and kind of spread everything out nice and evenly on the bottom of your dish there. I love cooking, it's so therapeutic. If you're still rocking with me, thank you very, very much for making it this far into the video. I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you have a safe and wonderful holiday. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. So off camera, I've added a can of cream of cheddar cheese uh, soup, if you will, from Campbell's. Um, just another additive I had in, in the uh, cabinet there. And I was like, hmm, I bet this is going to be really, really good. Let's just add that in front of the degree of flavor. Why not? Now we've beaten four eggs, and we're just going to spread that through, almost like a custard there. It's actually going to form a nice binding agent when we bake this, but we're going to give that another solid mix through. Just to really make sure you get that sopped up and all the nooks and crannies and you know, all the goodness. If you didn't taste this before, now you gotta wait until it's done and season it after. Yeah, mix it 
Oh, oh, mix it, mix it real good. Mix it, what, what up? Mix it, mix it real good. Mix it, uh, 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 mix it, mix it. I am not in the club. I am not a DJ. Sit your butt down and do this voiceover. And let's move on to this next step. These people are getting hungry. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and top this off with some more cheese. We'll do the sharp cheddar, the mild cheddar, as well as the Colby Jack. Well, just, you just can't too much cheese with this dish, you babes can't go wrong. Chicken and a biscuit crackers. If you haven't had these staples from Bethany, you don't know what you're missing out on. Typically, you could use a, a nice Italian breadcrumb on the top of this to give it that seasoned texture. I was going for something a bit buttery, a bit more non-traditional, just to really kick up this flavor profile and do something special for this particular dish for this particular occasion. You test it out. If you want to change up the crackers, you do what's in you to do and what's best for you in your taste and in your kitchen. Once this is done, we are going to go ahead and bake this in the oven at about 350 degrees after slapping some good old pads of butter on here because you know you need more butter in life because it's just wonderful. Dust some more mac and cheese. Like this right now in the video, I'll put a link in the description box. And here is our finished results. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I can't even continue to speak. I can't wait to eat. So I'll see y'all next week. Happy New Year.